for then AY himself. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you, to my lovely abode. I told you we'll find you. I told you we'll find you. Man, this is amazing. Well, you're, you're, you're no stranger to the Celebrity Cookie Show. And um, the fact that we're here means only one thing. We're here to have you have us right here okay. in your house. And you know, we've got just the right microphone for it. Well, go ahead. Don't forget <laughs> your mic, by the way. No, I, I promise you. I'm not. Lovely place you got here. Thank you. This wow. Cool. Wow. You know, we're going to get to that part, but then I, I love what was done here. I think it's phenomenal. I was driving into the street and I noticed something really interesting. You noticed something? Yes. What did you notice? The name of the street is called uh, Ayomako Street. The street is named after you. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes me feel fulfilled, knowing fully well that I came from Wari without uh, the biggest of expectations and um, also knowing fully well that I've worked so hard enough to have a street named after me in Lagos. I mean, for me, it's uh, some sort of fulfillment. It makes me uh, a happy man. So it makes me really, really feel good. Mm. What would you say is making you feel positive these days? Yeah, being alive. Being alive makes me feel positive because the minute you have a life, what that means is that uh, you have the ability and capacity uh, to think of a better tomorrow and live for tomorrow as well. Wow, I I'm, I'm looking at this place and I'm, I'm just loving it. Gosh, this is so amazing. You want water? Of course I do. Yeah, we have this. It's really hot out there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I feel good. That was quite refreshing. So what was the first thing you thought about when you woke up this morning? Wow, the first thing I thought about when I woke up this morning was AY Live. I had to deliver that show on Easter Sunday. AY Live, African All-Stars Edition, on Easter Sunday, March 31st. Every time we do AY Live in Lagos, Lagos is a flagship, so it's always good to think of how to get it right. Now, how long have you been doing the AY Live show? It's been 17 years running. Did you say 17? Um, like yeah, 17, seven. 17 years running. We started from Musan Center. From Musan Center, we moved to Federal Palace. From Federal Palace, we moved to uh, Ocean View, okay. which was more like you know the adult thing that a hotel used to have. And then it progressed to a hotel. Here yeah, we now sell at the six thousand uh, capacity. Yeah, this piano you have here is it for fancy or do you play with it once in a while oh really uh i play are you sure i uh not like i really really play like that um my daughter plays so i usually wow. uh, learn from my daughter and uh, at least i understand the rudiments of uh, playing the piano <laughs> <laughs> I can go for that. Okay. I promise you, if you put me there, I'm totally clueless on what to do. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what's your go-to breakfast? I go to a breakfast. I'm not really a breakfast person. No. Okay. I'm asleep whenever Ooh. people are having breakfast. So. Okay, so what's the one food that you can eat every day of the week? Mm, banga and uh, pando. <laughs> right, sometimes the blend of starch makes it uh, swift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I love banga. And in addition to that, I love rice, beans, and plantain. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. The Banga thing, is it an AY thing or a worry thing? Nah, far from being AY thing. Banga is always a banga for <laughs> anybody that's from worry. Mm, mm, yes. Mm. Oh, it's a pretty good meal. Okay, I think I'm <laughs> going to take that away. Banga is always a banga. Straight now, up. I want to know, if you were not a comedian or actor, what would you be doing? Oh, I would have been in the public relations business. Why? Um, I'm very, very good with uh, PR. I'm good with event management. So, yes, I'm not hungry. I must still get what you know they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, at some point, I was hoping you'd say you'd be a police officer. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Imagine no. you being a police officer. You know, you have that strong stare. 
you give well, up? Well, well, if I if I be if I become a police officer, I think a lot of people are going to get away with crime. Why do you say so? Because I have this this very pity, you know. Even if I say go and see no more, I know they are still going to see. So we have a lot <laughs> a lot of sinners everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> okay, so um, I was going to ask about. Um, this trending rap song, you know, the reason why you recently jumped on it. <laughs> Goya Meno. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they were on the guy last. <laughs> hey, while life's still alive. Boss. Give it left back to back. Boss. I came and I conquer. Boss. So why you not gonna call it the boss? It was just something I had to do. You know, uh, Goya came came to the office. I was like, bros, I need you to jump on it. And, you know, because we're not the carry last. Wow. I had to do what I had to do. Growing up back in the days, like way back, way back, long time ago, who were your celebrity crushes? Do I really want to answer this on uh, camera? Uh, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, have you heard of Liz Benson? Come mm, on. Come on. She was everybody's crush. Have you heard of day. Regina Askew? Of course. Okay. Lovely. And Whitney Houston. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me anymore because I can go on and on. <laughs> okay. Now, we, we have a lot of your movies, you know, so far from 30 Days in Atlanta, A Trip to Jamaica, 10 Days in Sun City, Christmas in Miami, or Marjorie, Merry Men, and so on and so forth. Which one of them is your favorite? I'm going to go for 30 Days in Atlanta. We are doing that. We are doing that. Every. What the Really? Uh, yeah, because uh, 30 Days. Uh, Gave me the necessary fist lift, that fist lift that was needed for me to gain in road into the entertainment industry. So I give it to 30 Days in Atlanta, and also because it uh, put my name in the Guinness Book of World Records as well. Wow! So comedy or movie making, which has been your most successful venture? Oh uh, well, they both complement each other. Uh, so comedy created the space mm. for me to save enough to be able to go into movies. Mm. So it's a win-win for me, both. So what is one vice you wish you could give up? Oh, I wish I could, I wish I could give up reading comments, you know, but it's, it's something that I'm so addicted to. I, I really like to know what people think about the other person. I mean, from their own perspective, especially people that they haven't met, people that they haven't seen before in their lives, and uh, their perception about the person. So sometimes I really, really want to read mm -hmm. and find a way to learn. Wow. When do you feel most inspired? At night, when everyone else is asleep. Why? You're not a morning person. No, I'm not a morning person. And I, I, I function more at night uh, because uh, that's when the my creativity comes alive because the world is asleep mm. so i'm awake okay i'm not i'm not being distracted by the world so okay. staying awake uh, to think of ideas or things that i need to do at night works better for me yeah i was gonna ask you what football club you support but it's obvious oh yes <laughs> it's gonna for life <laughs> i'm an arsenal fan you know, you know what they say about gunners? They're yeah. gone. <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> Very stupid. You didn't just call the quickie master stupid. <laughs> you <laughs> are crazy. As a matter okay. of fact, I, I can send you out of my crib right please now. Please don't. Please don't. I'm having a wonderful time right now. <laughs> All right, so apart from... That's uh, my big daughter, Michelle Ryder. Oh, wow. Yeah. She oh, turned yeah. 16 already. And guess what, guys? <laughs> Why? Why are you afraid? Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm going to shoot somebody. Oh, of course. Definitely. <laughs> I expect you to. Now, apart from supporting National, can you actually play football? Oh, yes. I play football. I used to play for a uh, club side known as Chap Shooters, uh, Soccer Planners, uh, Mobile Babes. And of course, I played for Shell FC. Mm. I used to play, prefer I played for DSE. Wow. A lot of people don't know this part about it, why. So wow. once they just say, you say, let me hear you say, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, 
I like that painting right over there. Can we, oh can yeah, we that? that's Ayomide. Yeah, wow. that's Ayomide. That's that's uh, Michelle's baby sister. So beautiful. Yeah, so my wow. my entertainer. She's <laughs> she's always getting me entertained in the house. Interesting. Mm. Right. So do you wear socks to bed? Socks yeah. to bed. Mm. Makawai. Maybe cold or something. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about that. Wow. I yeah. like this place. So is this like your home office or something? You just named it. This is the home office where, you know, try to put some creativity together. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. I'm, I'm spotting a Guinness World Record. Is that the same one that has your record? Oh yes, I, I talked about it earlier. Yeah, you spoke about it earlier. I, th yeah. I think I want to see it. Yeah. I'm sure you guys want to see it too. <laughs> uh, a lot of people always say we made it into the Guinness World Records. Right there. <laughs> wow. It's right here. Yeah, 30 days in Atlanta with the Nigerian flag right there. Oh boy. So okay. you've been in this game. <laughs> in the Guinness Book of Record game. Yeah. Wow. Oh. oh my, oh my. Mm -hmm. This is a walk-in closet of life. You can say that again. I, at least I know some of these shoes will take care of my rent. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I made you laugh. I <laughs> made AY laugh. That's, Don't do that that's to yourself. <laughs> Don't do that to yourself. So what is the one lesson you say life has really taught you? Oh, understanding the value of time and uh, learning how to take... Uh, Things as they, as, they, as they come, well, one step at a time. Yeah. All right. Then I was going to ask you, or rather, was, I've been meaning to ask you this question. How do you handle the recent attacks on your brand? Like, your name has been in the mouth of a lot of people. <laughs> Some very interesting personalities. I well, uh, that's very, very easy to answer. Um, if you're a nobody, nobody's going to say anything about you. You must. You must be something worthy for any story to, to, to come out uh, concerning your person. So, so what's the one thing you're afraid of? One thing that I'm afraid of? <laughs> Conflagration. Um, in English, please. I'm afraid of fire. <laughs> Talking about fire. How were you able to cope with the huge loss of your house, valuables, properties, you know, how did you handle that? Well, you just talked about uh, loss of valuables, but no loss of life. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, as a matter of fact, I'm very, very happy to have my family alive and uh, we're not part of all of that that happened. So, what it simply means is that when there is life, there is hope. Mm, and here true. we are. <laughs> very true. Because what, what we see now is looking even more beautiful. Uh, do you mind if we do a tour around the house? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, let's do this.
My daughter, Michelle, is the queen of the pool. I really don't use it like that. Mm. But once in a while, when it's hot, I find a way to, to just relax and do what I have to do. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I noticed uh, you've got really nice decorations here. Why don't you have the head of Julius Caesar outside, considering? <laughs> <laughs> That's the G-Mouse up there. Okay. And yes, I do use that one once in a while. Once in a while. Yeah, but when I'm not there, I'm doing the ones that I love to do most. And which is? I, I love to play table tennis. Okay. And I also love to play football. Then be that as it may, we love to swim and we've got to do what makes us happy. Swimming makes us happy. No so. way, please. You are not getting in the pool. You're here for Just your quickie. Time. Yeah. No, no, no. Let your quickie be the quickest <laughs> way for you to make the exit right now. Are you asking us to leave your, your domicile? Au revoir. Oh my, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> I was expecting some bit more hospitality. <laughs>